And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. Well, good afternoon, everyone. You can see we've got a beautiful sunset right now out of the Rossville cam. You can see the reflection of it off of the uh, water tower there, a Purdue's water tower in the WLFI tower cam. But another look at this, we can see that sun is just beautiful as it's going down. There's a saying, uh, red sky by night, sailor's delight. That's because when you have an area of high pressure, usually means you get fair weather, but you also kick up a lot more dust in the atmosphere, which helps generate red sunsets. So just a little fun fact with that there, we are completely completely clear right now because we are underneath an area of high pressure. We don't have any clouds out there right now. Zooming out just a little bit, you could see that high sitting off in Canada right now, just off of the Great Lakes. We have a low pressure a little further out to our west and a low pressure out to our east. All of this is working to trap this area of high pressure right here and funnel in much warmer temperatures than is seasonable. We're running about 10 degrees above normal in terms of temps right now because of that, but we're also staying completely dry. So we'll be having that in the area for quite a few days now. Uh, we're looking at temperatures in the lower 80s and upper 70s in some areas as well. We're 80 here in Lafayette, 81 Attica, 82 Pine Village, 78 Winnemac, 77 out in Rochester. Now looking at sustained winds, winds are pretty calm across most of the area. We are right around eight miles an hour out in Attica, Pine Village. We're uh, sitting right around three in Logansport, six in Galveston, five Kokomo, five Frankfurt. But looking at current conditions right here in Lafayette, our temperatures at 80 degrees, that dew point's at 54. We're gonna keep an eye on this dew point. We've had some dense fog over the last couple of days, and that's because this dew point's been a little high. And with clear skies at night, you do have temperature dropping and meeting that dew point and generating quite a bit of fog. Winds are from the east at three miles an hour. It is nice and sunny right now, as I showed you a little earlier. We're going to be sitting right around 70 degrees by 9 p.m. We'll be at 64 by midnight, 60 by 3 a.m., 57 by 6. We will have some fog development, especially in lower lying areas and cornfields. Just because that temperature is going to dip, the dew point will come up just a little bit more and winds going to be right around six to seven miles an hour, generally from the east to the east-southeast, and eventually the south-southeast as well. So throughout the night, we'll see a bit of a southern shift to the wind. Looking at future cast, we can see we remain beautiful all throughout the night. We'll be nice and clear. Sunday looks nice and clear as well. I don't see any cloud cover or rain development. We're going to be this way through the first half of the week, but then in the second half of the week, we are going to have a pattern change. So we'll take a look at that right now. We can see we are completely clear Monday. Tuesday is again beautiful and clear. We will stay in the 80s. We we'll even get to the mid 80s in some parts of it, but then Wednesday comes around. We have cloud cover that'll enter the area and a front that sets up. It'll bring us some rain come Thursday. We'll have some rain on the back end of that on Friday. We could even see a couple of showers on Saturday as well. And after this, that cold front moves through. We have a second cold front right behind it and temperatures are going to plummet. So we're 10 degrees above normal right now, but we'll be a handful of degrees below low normal come the end of the week. We'll only see highs getting into the 60s by that point. Monday, it looks like we get back into that high pressure regime and it looks like we'll be pretty nice just a couple of clouds. We can see the dew points are in the, they're approaching the 60s, which with your overnight lows getting down into the 50s, we will have some daily chances for fog early in the morning until about probably 8 or 9 a.m., really evaporating mostly by the 9 a.m. hour. But in the seven-day forecast, we are at 82 on Sunday with some a.m. fog. 84 is a high on Monday. 84 Tuesday uh, and sunny. 84 Wednesday, mostly sunny. 72 on Thursday with some scattered showers. 71 Friday. Look at that. High temperature on Saturdays only at 62. And when we take into account the 10 days, 60s remain on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Some cloud cover in the area and lows all the way down in the 40s, even nearing the 30s in some cases. Absolutely. And you know what? That spooky weather starting to, you no know, chills up on my spine. You know what that means. Halloween's coming up soon, you know? Absolutely. Also, I think we should, you know, call Green Day. You know, September's ending soon. So we'll get them on the phone sooner or later. Make right? sure someone wakes them up. Absolutely. Well, we'll be right back with more. Stay tuned. <laughs> 